welcome back dear students of class 11 i am ms saida tijani from maharashtra college of arts science and commerce and today uh, in this video lecture we are going to uh, continue with chapter number 1 all right page number 4 okay a very important topic that we are to begin is which is known as value okay value value in use and value in exchange okay uh, now this particular topic explains you what is the worth of a particular thing okay in the previous class we did something that was known as goods and services okay uh, this is a part of that particular subtopic wherein we are going to study the worth of a particular thing. Now what is value in use? Value in use means something which is worthy, okay, which you actually need. What is value in exchange? Something, a product which you buy through exchange. As mentioned in the previous class exchange means whenever you're going to market you're getting something when you're paying for it okay so this is how the economy works there is exchange so value in exchange is the monetary sense and value in use is the utility the usefulness the usage sense okay uh, let me explain this to you with the help of an example that is given to you which is known as the water diamond paradox. What is water diamond paradox? It is uh, given to you on page number four. Okay. When you compare water and diamond, what do you realize? On one hand, you have water which is available, okay, abundantly available. Okay, thankfully, uh, it is abundantly available. You have a lot of water bodies, a lot of fresh streams. Okay, you also have processed drinking water, which is available. What is the price of one liter of water? 20 rupees. Okay, the price of one liter of water is 20 rupees. Although water is life, it is much must it is much needed for our survival without water nothing is going to survive on this earth although it is that useful although it has so much of value in use it has very little value in exchange here the usefulness of water is a lot you get a lot of utility you water is used for various purposes but what about the value in exchange value in exchange is very little just 20 rupees let us say if water is made 20,000 rupees per liter how will people survive okay so here value in exchange of water is less because firstly because it is life it is a must for everyone it is much needed commodity secondly it is available everywhere that is why the value in exchange of water is less and value in use is more let us come to diamond diamond cost 2 lakh maybe okay a big piece of diamond the most minimum that i could say is 2 lakh maybe here diamond what when you when you look at the diamond what do you realize would you use it every now and then no you have the fear of it getting stolen away you have the fear of losing it uh, you feel that it will get spoiled it will lose its shine so what you will do you will keep it safely in the locker you're not going to use it every now and then so what about the value in use of diamond very little once a year you will wear or twice a year you will wear at the most 30 times a year you will wear you are not going to wear it every day okay because diamond is rare 
because it is the commodity which is rare and it shows uh, it is this it shows it is a status symbol it shows your status to the society if i'm wearing a diamond ring people are going to say oh god she is rich it shows your status it shows your standard of living to the society that is why it its value in exchange is more it is expensive but value in use is nothing just once a year you're wearing it okay so when you compare water water is life its value in use is a lot but its value in exchange is very little and because diamond is rare and it is showing your status symbol not everybody can afford it its value in exchange is a lot it is 2 lakh but what about the usage its value in use is nothing or very little when compared with water so there are certain things which are very useful but what happens uh, because they are abundantly available or because they are life okay nothing can substitute them they are available at a very low rate okay or sometimes even free for example the sunlight the heat of the sun the oxygen that you breathe these are all must for life but they are free goods the value in use is a lot but value in exchange is nothing but on the other hand there are certain things which are the economic goods which have a high value in exchange but may not have the value in use for example uh, an air conditioner okay the ac that you have at home some people uh, do not require it much or if i can put it like that in winters and in rainy season we don't require much but still we spend a lot of money for summers okay we get an ac for uh, to make our nights better in summers so here the value in use of ac is not so much but the value in exchange is a lot 25 to 30000 rupees okay so things that have a lot of usage value in use and the things that are uh, purchased the economic goods they have value in exchange so i hope this particular thing is clear to you a very beautiful diagram is given to you on page number 4 uh, which says um, uh, which is like a seesaw on one hand you have water and on another hand you have diamond and uh, how it is uh, they're showing you how a uh, diamond is weighing more because it is expensive and you shell a lot of money and how water is uh, towards uh, the upper side because it is not that expensive when compared with the uh, diamond all right uh, so i hope you have understood we further move to uh, another topic that is known as wealth which is given to you on page number 5 a very important there are characteristics of wealth given to you on page number 5 which is very important from the exam point of view they may ask you define wealth and give the characteristics of wealth so from exam point of view this particular uh, topic is important now what is wealth wealth is not just money okay it's not just your bank balance the definition of wealth says that anything and everything that you possess and when you go to the market it has a market value when you sell it you receive something okay that is known as wealth for example anything that I, and everything that i have that i own that i possess for example my car my car is my possession that's my property i can go to the market and sell it off i can go to the market of lemons that is the second the market of second hand cars i can go to the market and i can sell it off it has a value in the market i will get a certain amount certain money after i sell it so anything and everything that you possess and when you sell it off in the market and you get a value a thing which has the value in the market that is known as wealth it's not just your money it's not just your bank balance it's not just the cash that you have wealth is anything and everything your car uh, your house your flat your piece of land if you're a farmer um, the crops that you grow on your farm uh, your scooter uh, your iphone uh, the jewelry that you wear Okay, your expensive stuffs that you have, all this, whatever is your possession, your property is your wealth. Now there are four characteristics of wealth given to you. First one, utility, very important. Wealth must have utility. 
okay uh, if it does not have utility you are not going to purchase it you are not going to demand it if it is having utility if it gives you satisfaction uh, if it is useful for you only then you are going to demand it and then it will be characterized as categorized as utility things that you don't need things that you don't require you are not going to purchase it and that will not come under your possessions okay so in order uh, that you um, demand something it should give you utility in the first place it should be useful for you next one scarcity okay the wealth should be scarce scarce means something which is limited okay uh, which is less in number now why a diamond is considered as wealth obviously because it is rare it is a scarce resource it is limited uh, that is why it is known as wealth so wealth should be scarce not everybody should be able to possess it or not everybody should be able to afford it it should be something which is a limited edition okay the best example that i can give you is that of iphones okay uh, the moment iphones are launched uh, they get out of stock why because they are wealth not everybody can afford it only few people who have that much money they can afford it and that is why the, there is uh, scarcity is one of the important feature or characteristic of wealth we come to next one the third one it should be transferable transferability okay the wealth that you have should be you should be able to transfer it to someone it should be it uh, it can be given to someone like for example i have a lot of money or i have a lot of uh, i have a big car which i don't want i'm gifting it to someone i'm transferring it to uh, someone that is transferability now there are two types of transferability that is physical and notional the things that you can lift up and give, you can give it to someone that is a physical transfer but things which you cannot lift up like for example a piece of land or a house you want to transfer it to someone but you are unable to lift it up because not possible okay so this type of a transferability is where you sign the papers you make documents ओके okay, आप किसी के नाम पर कर रहे हो कुछ यू आर यू आर गिविंग हिम यू आर ट्रांसफरिंग एंड यू आर शोइंग इट इन अ पीस ऑफ पेपर थ्रू लॉ ओके सो दैट इज नोन एज अ नोशनल ट्रांसफर इज समथिंग दैट इज फिजिकल ट्रांसफर वे यू कैन लिफ्ट द कमोडिटी एंड गिव इट टू समवन एंड समथिंग दैट इज नोशनल वे यू कैन नॉट लिफ्ट बट यू कैन ट्रांसफर इट इन द नेम ऑफ द अदर पर्सन लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ पीस ऑफ लैंड a house okay things like that so this particular thing is given to you in the green box which is there on page number 5 which says do you know that's the point we just discussed okay next one externality wealth is something that is external not internal internal means wealth is nothing which is inside the human body okay it is something that is outside only the things that are outside your body you can transfer it and only then they are known as wealth okay something which is inside me is is my uh, inborn talent if i have a very beautiful voice okay uh, i can teach it to someone but i cannot transfer it to anyone okay uh, if i can paint very well okay that's my talent i cannot transfer it to anyone i can of course teach someone but i cannot transfer it to someone so things and your capabilities your talents which are inside you cannot be transferred and they are not considered as wealth they are your talents they are your traits they are your characteristic features which distinguish you from one person to another so externality is uh, the characteristic of wealth which is outside human body only those things you can transfer anything which is your talent which is inside you that you cannot transfer another green box which is there on page number 5 um, says to you that inborn qualities like beauty 
a beautiful voice your height okay uh, all the your features all these things cannot be transferred and they are not considered as wealth okay uh, so i hope you have understood this is important from the exam point of view what is wealth and the characteristics of wealth okay and the definition can be asked to you in an objective type of question too okay so i hope you have understood uh, if you like the video if you like uh, my teaching please do uh, comment because your comments are a big motivation as i always say and uh, please subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow thank you